are here for the December instalment of Come Shopping With Me in Primark. So, to mark the occasion, just bear with me while I uh, put my antler ears on. So yes, we are here for December. Come shop with me in Primark to see what is new in store for this festive holiday season. So fair to say what you are about to see, because we're about to do to go actually, because I'm filming this intro right before we're going, is all the new stuff for Christmas. Granted, when you've seen this, it will be kind of a last minute rush. I think this video is planning to go live in a week or so. So, you know, you've got a week, two, to get Christmas shopping done if you've not done it already. So. Hurry on up. I'm super excited to see what is in store. I have seen from stories and other people that it looks like there is some really good stuff. So I'm gonna definitely focus on the gifting items in this video, as well as of course the winter fashion and just a general overview of all of the sections as I do for you guys. So I won't keep you for much longer because I know we're all very excited to just get into store and see what is new in. But while I remember, if you do want to be more on dates, make sure you are following me over on Instagram. I will be posting in there shortly so if you're already following me you would have seen that content but do head on over and follow me over there if you like to see in-store content because I post them live on the day so I hope you're feeling all nice and festive make sure you light a candle get yourself a nice hot drink of choice sit back relax and let's go do some shopping in Primark so here we are again December Primark exciting times so let's start over in the gifting section honestly this was a chaotic section I tried my best to film all I could starting off with the decorations there was very limited selection but I really like the look of these bamboo style letters I think you can definitely put these on top of presents that's what I've been doing this year with the initial letters because I think they're quite a nice keepsake too as well as this little golden moose that was sitting down called to me I thought he was so cute they had quite a bit of pastel zodiac stuff such as pens, phone cases, books, notepads. It was a really cute little range. You could definitely do a little hamper for somebody. I did show you guys this kit last time. It is £10. It comes with like a candle, a little face cloth and things. To be honest, these are convenience gifts, everything I'm showing you, so they are going to be a little bit overpriced. These tea shots though were kind of cool if you know somebody who likes loose tea although I know that's kind of limited because you'd have to have all the stuff to do it as well as I thought this cool hum mist humidifier was actually quite a nice little gift for £10. I just had to show you the retro magic 8 ball who didn't have one of these they were brilliant. I liked this apple crisp little mini gift set for £6 as well as the cookie one and also if you know a baker they did have a nine piece baking set it was actually only £9. <laughs> For men, they had lots of men's health lab sets. They had this weekend kit, which I thought was a little bit overpriced. Um, and then they did have over there like the shaving kits and things, which are a little bit more reasonable. But again, these are convenience gifts. So if you're popping in just to grab something, they're really, really convenient. Finally, this time round, I found the, the leather leggings. I was very excited about this because I try to buy these every year from Primark and I didn't see them on my last trip. So I managed to grab myself a pair at this time, as well as this back wall was very similar with the hoodies. They did have this mustard theme going on again, which I do really like for autumn winter. I think it is just kind of staple. And in particular, I really liked this black and white coat for just £25. I did feel that was very cheap um, for this style of coat, which would go with anything. If you watched my last Primark haul, you would have seen that I bought that beautiful Ecru beige uh, coat that was this style exactly, but unfortunately they didn't have any of the beige ones in store, but they had this beautiful dusky pink and this red. I did notice this beige jacket, which was £25, and it had the gold hardware if you were looking for something similar. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside we gather around and more coats there just seems to be an incredible influx of coats in Primark I did notice these beautiful suede looking ones they had it in this lovely fleshy pink nude brown khaki and black and they were only 25 pounds which I thought was a really good deal the quality looked great the hardware looked really good and the suede looked very very convincing I was actually showing you here I was wearing exact same jacket but this was from River Island and this was around 70 pounds and it felt very very similar Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, 
Heading into the Christmas clothing, the graphic tees unfortunately again were still very, very picked over. I bought this last time if you did see my haul, the dash down through the snow, which is my absolute favourite. But unfortunately, yeah, very, very picked over, but still only £2.50. In the Christmas jewellery section, I noticed this, which is meant to be an advent calendar, hence why it's reduced to £5, but it did just have normal Primark jewellery in it, so it could still be a nice gift, as well as just this is a little overview of the accessories. But honestly, it was such a small section and really not a load to report on here. The trending now section, my favourite corner of Primark as you walk into the right if you go to the Bristol store. This was screaming my name. It was all beiges, accrues, browns, leathers. It was just beautiful. I absolutely loved these boots. I thought that they were a really lovely shade of brown. They were a very warm brown, as well as this jumper dress that's white. You could totally see those being styled together. They did have the dupe Bateca Vanetta bag, which I banged on about for the past three months, which I bought and I have loved, to be fair. I noticed this little um, denim crop top for £15. I loved the design of it, and it's obviously made with the organic cotton. And then Primark loungewear alert. They did have these waffle style uh, lounge sets in this dusky pink and in this lovely grey colour. They had those leather leggings in the nude colour as well for £10, but I don't know if I would be brave enough to wear these. I do feel like they would be very figure revealing and hugging. I showed this in the last video but I did want to show it again because it was stunning. It was £13 in this beige colour but upstairs I actually seen the black that was reduced to 5 I am so tempted to buy this top but I just wanted to show you guys because I mentioned it in the last video. Look how strange the arms are. I just wish it didn't have that little flap there otherwise I would have bought like three of these because they look really thick and really durable and super warm and comfy. They had this lovely crisp white shirt in that had these balloon style sleeves as I tried to show you guys but obviously this is a large size but I think it would look quite nice with a belt around it and some tights and some boots. Also wanted to show that they still have these padded raincoat style skirts. I really don't get who's wearing these. They're, I'm not a fan of them at all. For £13 you can get yourself a really nice high neck basic jumper dress which is always liked at this time of year. Okay, so just jumping in here while I can because I'm in a little quiet section of Tribark. It is kind of busy today. I was expecting it to be busier, but it's a little bit busy. It's not too bad at all. Not so excited so far. Lots of stuff is exactly the same as the day before lockdown happened, which is kind of what I thought might have happened. Yeah, it's just a little bit disappointing. I'm still having a rummage around. I'm only on floor one, so we still have two more floors to go. So we'll see. Fingers crossed things get better. I really liked the look of this sort of grey nude accru style jumper. It felt again very thick and good quality and it said you are loved. It was £12 which hmm, it wasn't the organic cotton range so I did feel it was a little bit pricey but I loved the little slogans on these. I did think they were very pretty and I'd totally buy this in an oversized so you could just wear it with like leggings and just be cozied up. Speaking of leggings, I noticed these with this waistband for just £4 and they looked really good quality so I did pick up a pair of those. Heading into the beauty section, I just wanted to give you a little overview of some of the things that we haven't showed before such as the foundations and the concealers. Honestly, there wasn't again a ton of new stuff in this section. The only thing I noticed was that they did have a, another prep and set prep and prime setting spray but this time the flavor was like watermelon i think it was watermelon melon they had the coconut one uh the past few months but steph did pick up that one and it's always good at three pounds fifty as a gifting option any lipstick lover i'm sure would massively appreciate this beautiful acrylic storage it was only eight pounds which is an absolute bargain it was massive or alternatively you've got these drawer organizers which is fantastic for makeup at just five pounds
Primark nail fans, this is your time. Here is my top three picks to report on this time. <laughs> I noticed this PS silk style range, they had hair wraps, hair masks, uh, little headbands as you can see, eye masks. These are all usually items that you could buy in pure silk that of course would cost a lot of money, but they're doing their sort of own version, so let me know if you guys have tried these and if they're any good. I absolutely adored these, I think these are my top gifting option of the video. At £6 you can get a lovely eye mask with obviously your horoscope star sign on it and a beautiful roller. I also forget and forget to show you all that Primark do hair tools and this uh, two-in-one curler and straightener looked really good as well as they did a little travel size of straighteners which is always great if you are got an overnight bag or if you're just going away. Heading back into the clothing, I really like the look of this red cable knit jumper as well as they had that beautiful grey ribbed style one. They also did it in red as I showed you here for just £13. I thought they were great. We headed upstairs then and as I was showing you here, there's a lot of the same stuff and there was a lot of dresses that were definitely autumn range. It was just really underwhelming, this second floor. This back bit is usually not where I venture too much anyway, but I was just particularly like ugh, walking around. Like everything was very, very similar. So unfortunately there wasn't a lot to report on in this section. They did have this new area of clothing, which I like to call sort of the New Year section. It was all very sparkly, velvet, textures, uh, blacks, golds, very, very pretty. This jumper dress, not jumper, blazer dress slash blazer stuck out quite a lot with the little diamante buttons at just £23. I thought that was a great little option. Just showing you some little festive bits. This was the same as the one downstairs, the denim top for £13, but in red. And then they had this lovely high neck, no sleeve bodysuit in red too, which I thought was quite festive. Heading into accessories, they had these lovely bobble hats. I loved this little nude one. It was only £3, which I thought was such a bargain. If £3 is too expensive, but £2.50, they did also have these ones which don't have the matching bobble. They're just the brown bobble, but still very, very pretty. These earmuffs for £5, they did in grey and black, and they looked so, so cosy. And if you're a headband girl, these were stunning, these beautiful little jeweled headbands I think you could definitely dress up for the season. Looking at the jewellery again unfortunately not a lot had changed. This was the sort of Zara dupe section that I like to call it. I really like the shininess of the silver chain and then the daintiness of this gold chain so I did end up picking up the gold chain. How absolutely stunning are these pearl ear cuffs for just £2? I thought they were an incredible Christmas piece, but also for year round. I think I showed this in the last video too, but there is a crystal ear piece, which for £2 again, you would definitely find this in Topshop for a lot, lot more expensive. I'm not a huge Primark Disney fan, but I did notice this Mulan style clutch bag for just £4 and I thought it was really beautiful. So if you know anybody who likes Primark Disney, that could be a great gift. I finally come across the White Company dupes of these slippers in the section um, and they were £6 a piece. They did them in the dusky pink, the white and the grey but again these are a really great gifting option if the White Company is a little bit out of your budget this year. Heading up to the Primark wellness section, we all know my favourite section. Unfortunately, as you can see, it was so picked over. I did go on a Friday night, as I usually do, where you can kind of be hit or miss. Everything's sort of organised or it's chaos. And as you can see on this occasion, there was a lot of stuff that was picked over. However, I did notice a couple of new items. So the first one was this little tiny candle at just £2. This is great if you're making up one of those Primark wellness hampers I recommended. They also had the room mist 
Mist. I think I've seen this before, but it's £4, and again, this beautiful amber glass style, and the Retreat candles. I just sort of noticed here, they did have, this is the biggest candle that they do, the three wick, and it is £5, whereas if you compare it to the little single wick one, which is £4.50, you're definitely better off getting the three wick candle, because as you can see in the size difference for 50p, 100% you're better off going with that. Looking at the clothing, again, it was a lot of the same stuff. But I did notice these new little ruffle style shorts, which I thought were really cute with the paper bag style waist. I really wanted these. I actually forgot to pick them up. I don't know why I didn't pick them up. Ah! But they were... Um, beautiful and then I noticed this it's coming across as grey on the camera but it's actually like a sagey green color it's a scooped back lounge top which I really liked the look of but these were probably the star of the show this time these were these like flared white lounge bottoms but they were so cozy I think they were 10 pounds and me and Steph actually ended up separating and going off and we ended up picking up the exact same ones so great minds think alike they were honestly I think my top pick in the wellness section this time they did have a lot of the same stuff as I showed you last time, but I didn't notice this. I thought it was quite cute. Cute. It says, don't panic, it's organic, and it was a long sleeve pyjama top. How have I not noticed these before? These are stunning, fleecy pajama bottoms. They also do the dressing gown as well, and they're £12 a piece, so they're not cheap, but they look so, so cozy. Finally, heading into the Primark home section. There wasn't a huge amount, again, to report on here. They don't have tons of Christmas stuff, but there was a few new pieces that I really wanted to show you. I loved this charger plate, which essentially is just a piece of mirror, um, and they had this stunning hourglass. It's a very different design, if that's what you'd have as your interior, but I think hourglasses look very expensive, so this one was really good. They also had the candles that I showed you last time in the velvet packaging, which are great gifting options, as well as I noticed this jewellery tray set. If you bought this from Stackers, you'd be paying at least £40. So for a set of two at £8, this is a really good gift. The next big recommendation was these. These are absolutely stunning. They're like your own little atriums. This one was £10, but it lights up. So essentially it's a little light. And I just think they look so delicate and beautiful. If that other one was a little bit too big, they also had this one, which I think was my favourite, at just £6. I liked the wooden base a lot better. It didn't light up, but I thought the colour schemes were stunning. <sighs> we're back. So guys, that was the trip to Primark. Thank you so much for joining me. I have to admit, I, as you heard, I really wasn't that impressed. Um, it was a real shame. I tried to show you guys all the new things that I could possibly pick out. And there was some lovely bits, and I absolutely loved, obviously, the main section as you go in. It was all beige and beautiful, but it just seemed to be a lot of the same stuff they've had, but they've just sort of re-merchandised. And obviously, everything was kind of scattered and picked over, so it's a little bit of a shame, but still, we've got a taster of what's in store. Obviously, deliveries aren't coming as regularly this year from most stores. So we have to factor that in too. But make sure, of course, you are subscribed for a whole video to come. I did pick up some good stuff as well. So that will be here next week. And apart from that, guys, I hope you all stay safe, stay well, stay beautiful. And I'll see you all in my next video. Ciao. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories